Well, we had a full rest day. I was out guiding yesterday, but we're back now. Laid the drawers, brushed all the holds. Who knows if it'll go? Find out. Yeah. Uncle Magnifique had two main cruxes for me. The first was quite low down, just passing the overlap. Um, it took a while to work out how to actually get past that bit in the working stage. Like Sophie, I found the first crux of the climb pretty stiff for the grade and it took me quite a few goes as well before I found some beta which kind of seemed to work for the move. The second crux was kind of about three quarters of the way up and it was trying to dead point from one side pull into another side pull. I just kept missing it uh, on red point attempts. My second crux was right at the top of the climb and it wasn't because it was a, a hard move I could do the individual moves every time when I was fresh. It was because my arms were getting really tired at the top and I just kept running out of steam for the very last move. The route starts off like pretty delicately on small crimps uh, and then I've got to do like quite a big move up to uh, the nice big rail just over the overlap. The key to getting past the first crux was actually like a really deep flag and then dead pointing for this kind of low percentage move. I wasn't guaranteed that I was going to hit the right hand hold each time. So my beta for the crux was to use the small crimp and then work my feet high on some really bad small footholds and just stand up and throw myself at the next handhold which was a fairly low percentage move and I missed that right handhold quite a few times but it seemed to be the only way I could get through that section. Uh, and then it breaks out right very slightly and then into the second crux for me which is getting into those into that second side pull
And then right near the top, just below the last draw, there's quite a funky move that uh, I had to kind of jump into this right hand slot, which is quite a cool move and somehow managed to do that each time. And then the top section has got like lots of little crimps, which when you're pumped out your mind, just sap the last little bits of energy. Team send. That's uh, that was incredibly pumpy at the top, <laughs> and we both nearly dropped the first crux move on our successful red point sends. But that was a fun climb. Yes, yeah. man, many words. <laughs> <laughs> so that climb, encore magnifique or magique, magnifique. Um, it it's supposed to go kind of straight up like direct to get the 7b plus but from what we've been reading in the comments um, and also looking around at the route itself um, it looks like possibly bits have come off of it like there's definitely a jug hold that is in one of the videos in a past video of it of that 7b plus move that's not there anymore um, and I think we found it on the floor as well so we're not sure if the 7B plus bit goes like that anymore, but certainly the, the route that we both took like slightly out to the right using that um, liner holds on the right hand side, I think gets 7B. So we're claiming 7B, even though it felt quite... It felt quite hard for 7B. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, putting it into... I don't know, comparison with, I don't know, the 7B at Brian Down. Seven, well, that was 7B plus. That was 7B plus. And that had a massive rest in the middle of it. Yeah. Like, this one was more continuous. You could have a shakeout on, like, a flat hold, but it wasn't, like, a full rest. It was just sort of shaking out. Yeah. Um, it's quite sustained. And I don't know, there were quite a, a couple of like big crux moves as well. Like the first one at the rail, and then the second one for me was at the flakes. What was your second crux? At the top. <laughs> the very last move. <laughs> like holding the last hold. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was easy in isolation. But... All of it, well, I wouldn't say all of it's easy in isolation, but it feels easier in isolation. Yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, I fell off that. Yeah. Times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are definitely hoping to go to Spain at the end of October for well for November and most of December as well. Hoping to hit up Margalef. So excited by that. 
Yeah, unbelievably we, excited by that. See yeah. if we can finish that and um, resolve some of our unfinished problems there. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of issues that uh, problems that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm excited for that. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.